Hi, I'm Bob Heil, K9EID, and I'm here today to tell you about a product that I've been working on for two years. Nobody has ever done anything close to it, and we all need it because, uh, well, one of the things we're all getting a little older, we're having too many birthdays. So I developed a parametric equalization system for receive. Now, for years, we've talked about transmit, but the transmitters find these days. I was involved in the equalizer uh, for ICOM, Yesu, but now we have to worry about the receiver. Nobody's ever helped us with that. This is a parametric receive audio system, and there are two components to it. First of all, this has three equalizers in it. We set the, the lower limit and the upper limits. The lower limit is sitting at 160 hertz, plus or minus 15 dB, and the upper limit is at 6,000, and you can either cut or boost that by 12. However, the most important thing is the mid-range, and instead of doing a fixed equalizer there, it's parametric, meaning you can change the parameters of that filter. As we learned from the Bell Lab studies, 2.5K, 3K, right in there is very important for articulation. So you can understand the difference of an F and an S, a P or a B. You do that very simply by setting the frequency, and you can set that frequency from 400 to 4,000 cycles. And after you set the frequency, then you can increase it or decrease it. So we have two controls on the parametric side. This also has two headphone amplifiers. They're not just a Y cord, there's two separate amplifiers. So the operator and the logger can both go be connected at the same time and they do get the equalization. And plugging in the phone does not disconnect the speaker. Also, I put a line out for recording. That's very important. Uh, I just heard from one person where they did a field day and they came out of the line out into a guitar amp so the public could hear what was going on with the receiver. We have a wonderful little meter and most important, there's an LED overload. That's, it, that's really important. And you have an input control, uh, control. If you see that blinking, back down just a little bit. Basically, it's very simple, but it is so effective. The other side of this is so easy to hook up. We come out of the speaker output of your receiver, keep the level very low on your receiver, because these receivers have over 10% distortion at one watt. That's why we have to do this. They're not very good amplifiers. So keep the level low, come into the input here. The output of that will go through the XLR to this, the HP5 speaker. We'll go through that in a minute. This is a balanced line XLR, and we furnish you these cables. The power supply in is it's a transformer and there's uh, quite an extensive uh, uh, power supply conditioning and then all of the plus or minus 15 to run all of the, uh, the ICs. But the, parame uh, the parametric, parametric uh, uh, mids are the key to this product. To go with that, we have to have a speaker and not just any speaker. You will have a lot of people wanting to put their computer speakers up. No, no, no. You, you've destroyed everything if you try that. This is a very exotic speaker. First of all, it's 25 watts at 0.1% distortion. We're talking hi-fi levels here, but we're not, we're not so interested in the hi-fi part as we are to keep the distortion down. We come out of that XLR into this XLR, set the level up, and again, the transformer will come into here, 
and we condition it and provides all of the clean DC. The speaker itself is very important. I was a student, so to speak, of Paul Klipsch. He, he was a great mentor to me. He taught me about speakers and cavities, tuning the speaker to the cavity, and that's what's happened here. It's a five inch speaker in a tuned cavity with a three and a half inch tweeter that really punches the 2.5 so important mids so you can understand the difference of an F and an S, a P or a B. The two together are very easy to set up and use. We, uh, when you open the package, you're going to find this. Very, very important. We have it preset for you and you want to do that. But the manual is terrific. The second page in this manual has a chart. And if you have signals that are too harsh, signals are too basic, this will tell you how to set the uh, parametric EQ. The other part that's really good is how to connect it. Very simple, straightforward, but it gives you all of the things you need to know in this manual. So please read the manual. It's very important. It's right on top. Before you even take all of the pieces out of the box, the manual comes first. I do hope that you enjoy this product. I know it's going to be uh, of use to so many because uh, we're having too many birthdays and our hearing is not what it used to be. But even at that, you're so, you, you're just, you're so engrossed in what you're trying to pull out of the pileups and the noise, but there's no adjustment for you. Now there is. The parametric receive audio system is here for you. And I do hope that you have, you enjoy its use as much as I've enjoyed the last two years of building and making it happen for you.